I did a video quite a while ago on this torch that I have, this propane blowtorch, and someone watched the video and made a comment just a few days ago and asked if I ever did a video of me actually using it. And I said, you know, now that you mention it, I don't think I did. Let's go burn something up. Now some of these come with a, a sparker, an igniter, and others do not. I like the fact that I don't have to take a match with me or a lighter with me to try to keep this thing lit because it does go out. Sometimes when you really pump, pump it, uh, it'll actually blow out the flame. So anyway, so it's nice to have that igniter. So if you buy one, uh, spend the extra five or 10 bucks on one that has an igniter on it. Now this is just a small pile of brush uh, it's actually garden residue that I have. Excuse my voice, I am trying to ward off a cold or something that has attacked my throat. Um, so this is, you know, just, just some debris that um, I've cleaned up out of the garden. Corn stalks, um, uh, other stuff, pepper rem uh, remains, pepper plant remains and stuff. And then uh, elsewhere I have a lot of... Um, uh, uh, this is a zipper cream pea residue but I've also got some kind of little old I don't know what it is some kind of vine or something in it uh, I know a lot of you saying I should just turn this in to, to the garden let it uh, let it be organic matter and yes that would work if I didn't have seeds and stuff in there that I did not want in the garden so what's in this is um, I've got I know I've got some corn probably res residue that I didn't get out of there. Not all the corn cobs were removed probably and therefore I would burn up, uh, I mean I would be replanting some corn that I don't want to replant right there. Uh, but also there's a vine and I don't know exactly what it is. I'll pull one up right here. That's a, that's a dead one. Some kind of vine that has infested and it almost looks like a crown vetch or something but it's a it's a vine that'll, that'll run five ten feet and that is the seed head of it I got a lot of that in this garden that I need to get rid of so I'm gonna be burning this pile I'm also gonna be coming through when I see any of those little seed heads in this um, in this uh, pea residue and burning that also so, here we go let's set it a fire spark it sometimes you can get away without night not using the, the handle. It's gonna be noisy. Okay, had to move the camera. Wind was blowing it right towards you. Didn't want to burn that up. Again, this is just a small little pile. And uh, where this thing really shines is in a, a big brush pile. So hard to get a brush pile um, burning. Uh, because you don't want to burn it when it's real dry outside a big brush pile you want to burn it when it is um, You know when it's reasonably wet so when it's reasonably wet it doesn't want to burn so uh, I used to spend gosh, Gallons of diesel and trial and error and throwing matches and throwing cardboard and all this other st stuff to try to get it going and that uh, <laughs> that torch gets it going quick even a big big brush pile with some big stuff in it it gets it going good let me try this end here
Now I'm just gonna kind of rake through this place and bring some stuff over to it. So just walking through here, uh, I burned up as much as I could of the pea residue, and um, it, especially when I saw any of those little seed heads from that vine, whatever that devilish vine is. Uh, this will be real good to, uh, turn back in. It's got a cover crop on it right now. It's uh, not a cover crop that I planted, but it's, uh, it's uh, mainly rye. Got some rye in it, and uh, cause it's just a volunteer and uh because i've got rye in the pastures and it i'm sure just blew over here whatever but it, but burn the uh the pile up i've got another pile over there that was just full of nothing but sorry i'm shaking i don't have my stabilizer with me um another pile over there that um that had a lot of those seeds in it, those vines and stuff so i burnt that one real real good this one, uh, this one's mostly corn stalks, but in this, in this pea residue, pea vine residue, I know I had a lot of peas because there were a lot of peas on the vine when the first frost hit. So, you know, hopefully I'll burn up some of the peas too. Uh, just, you know, they're, they're, they're a, an heirloom pea, but just don't want them to come up just anywhere. I want them to come up where I want them to come up. So anyway, that's, um, that's what I did here burnt this up i'll uh, i'll look at it till sundown i don't think i'm gonna have to spray any water on it it's just not much to it uh in fact a lot of the residue did not burn up i'll probably come back and light that up a little bit rake some more up in it and light it up and get, try to get it all out of here before i start turning it in now the the, the ash residue is good for the soil it's it's I mean, a lot of people will burn their pasture, used to, eh, they don't do it a whole lot anymore, but would burn their pastures in the spring because that ash would just make their pastures go crazy uh, when it got warm for, uh, you know, summer grasses. But uh, a lot of people plant winter grass now and they don't burn them anymore. Um, but turning this into the soil will be good for it. Is it, is the ash better for it than the residue would be? to just rot and compost i don't know maybe not some of y'all would know that uh, the answer to that question better than i would but um it is what it is i need to i just wanted to get rid of it because i didn't want uh again i know i've got some some corn uh, corn cobs and stuff in it a little bit not much i got most of it and i still hadn't showed you the the shucking of it yet or the uh taking the the kernels off of it with my little machine i haven't done that yet need to do that uh, but anyway, there it is. Burn off other garden. Didn't burn off the garden per se. Just burnt that one pile and just a few of the, had a bunch of milkweeds and stuff. Turned the cows in here um, eh, a couple of weeks ago. And they, they came through here and grazed quite a bit. This was a little higher. Uh, probably got some of the corn uh, cobs too. And uh, grazed some of the milkweed and stuff. I could tell where it was bit off and stuff. So now I guess this is it. I just wanted to uh, show you, mainly show you the little the little uh, torch there so that little old dude <laughs> that little old dude is a time saving dude and i have run that thing for i don't know 10 15 20 minutes and i'm still got a lot of a lot of uh propane left in it so i don't know how long it'll go but it'll go for a gum long time there you go we're burning it up and we're gone